Hello! So today I'm going to be talking about something that I don't think there is a video for on the internet at all. Basically, it is how to take care of yourself on a film set because the days are generally between 10 and 12 hours and you don't get a lot of break time and you're on your feet all day. So you really want to make sure that you eat breakfast, like not just like a cereal bar, like an actual like breakfast. But the issue is sometimes you are called on set before the dining hall is open. So if you do, cannot go to the dining hall before set, I suggest keeping food in your room, like yogurt, cereal, and milk. That's a very easy thing to keep in your room. Um, you can also maybe go to like 24-hour Starbucks if you have one on campus. I feel like most campuses have a 24-hour Starbucks or something similar. Um, or if there's a place like right like off campus that you can get something to eat because it is very important that you eat breakfast because you honestly don't really know the next time that you're going to be eating because lunch isn't really when lunch would traditionally be. It's more just when it's convenient for everyone to take a break. So that could be like in like the mid-afternoon and if you're called at like 9 then you kind of need to eat something before then. And my next tip is to bring a water bottle. This is needs, this needs to be filled up, obviously, but bring a water bottle because you need to drink water. You're on your feet all day. You're moving around, and it's just easier if you have your own water. Like sometimes they have like water bottles or like drinking fountains, but then you need to like leave where you are to like go get water and it's just not always convenient so it's just kind of easy to have like your own water bottle and then my next thing is very similar to the first thing but it's to eat lunch i'm sure there have been times when you have a lunch break but some people are not taking a break like they're still doing things and you're like oh i should help out maybe like i need to do things too or maybe yeah, maybe you are the person that still needs to do things during the lunch break. If that's the case, then have somebody go get you food. I feel like that's a general thing that happens. One time when the actors had to stay over the lunch break, um, some people like went and like got them food. As I mentioned before, you're literally on your feet all day and you're also carrying things like heavy pieces of equipment or set pieces. So. You gotta wear some good shoes. Um, I've generally been wearing my Nike Roche 2s. Um, I also wear these like all the time, every day. Some like more like heavy duty sneakers because if a light like falls on your toe, like you want to have at least something. Your feet are going to hurt regardless, but your feet are probably gonna hurt a little bit less if you wear some good footwear. Also, this is more of like a cosmetic thing, but I suggest having blotting paper because my face gets so oily. Sometimes it can get really like hot and sweaty on set, or you're just out for a long time and you just get oily and you don't want to break out. That is something easy to do when you go to the bathroom, something that you might also forget to do. I think on Saturday, I, I went in the morning and I don't think I went again until like four or five or something. I just felt like I, if I like went away for like, for like a extended amount of minutes, then like I would like miss something or be like needed. And I just, you know, I just wanted to be like alert and present and available. And I, I, you know, you just kind of forget to go to the bathroom. When you're like really busy, or there's just a lot of stuff going on at once, like it's very easy to forget to go to the bathroom. No one's gonna tell you, no, you can't go to the bathroom. So just just go, go when you need to go. Just pay attention to your body. I actually don't own a pair myself, but you need gloves when you're dealing with lights because they get so hot. Like there's so many times where I just smell like scrims burning and I'm like, should we like do deal with that? Like it smells like it's gonna like start a fire. Like when you have to like put in and remove scrims, like the light is really freaking hot and 
if you're or if you're just adjusting the light or if you're putting like a diffuser on and the sets that i've been on we don't get a dinner break but we often get let out like between like 9 and 11. so again the dining hall might be closed so this really is not the most nutritional or greatest i greatest thing that you can do for yourself but it's important to at least have some kind of food in your room i have these like instant microwave mac and cheese thing or again maybe go somewhere like off campus or if there's like things that are open on campus um the issue is that the restaurants on campus at usc are not open during the weekends if you have amazing friends like i luckily do you can ask them to keep food for you either they can like buy food when things are still like open or or they can go to the dining hall and like steal you something that you can eat later i feel like all these are just reminding people to eat but like when you don't have a kitchen like some things it's just like you don't know how to eat because i do have a friend who would crew sets like every single weekend on saturday and sunday and then she just like wouldn't eat and then she got really sick so there are actual like consequences to not taking care of yourself for extended periods of time and i guess my last tip would be don't overdo it i've generally been trying to crew one day on the weekends so I have time to like do homework, catch up on sleep. I don't really know how people do like two 12 hour days in a row. Like I'm just really not sure how people do that like every weekend. School comes first, your health comes first. Crewing on film sets is amazing experience and you get to make a ton of friends and connections in the film community and just around campus. And you get to be a part of amazing projects. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself. So I hope that this was helpful for somebody because I know if someone gave like me these tips before I started crewing, that would have been helpful. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.